All right, guys. So I am going to bring to you a nice featured match between Androids versus Vegeta. So this is going to be a pretty nice matchup. As you can see right now, Androids are definitely one of the top-notch decks, and so is Vegeta. A lot of players believe that there is a triangle going on, which means that essentially it's a rock-paper-scissors matchup where Cell beats Vegeta and most aggro decks while Cell loses to decks like Frieza, Mecha Frieza, and other decks like Mecha Frieza loses to the aggro matchup, which is semi-true. I don't believe in this triangle wholeheartedly, but I can understand the logic that these players use. So with that being said, that is something that you should definitely look out for. Look out for matchups and just different types of decks that can take advantage of your situation based on what you're playing. But as you can see right now, we're just setting up the game and we're going to be beginning soon. And I hope you enjoy some of the music in the background. It's My Hero Academia. It's just a little something, you know, just to enjoy and listen to while you watch the matchup. I am going to be doing some in-depth commentary for this game. And uh, hopefully you guys can, you know, definitely uh, learn a thing or two from these type of matchups because they are essential in order for you to perform. So without further ado, I start off the game. I place Jocko, a blue energy, and then I end my turn. Now Jonathan, as you can see, you can see his hand for the most part, so that's pretty good. You'll be able to have a glimpse. Now he plays Jocko, he uses Vegeta's ability, and he's playing Majin Buu. So you can see he has a pretty solid hand. He has Sensu Bean, Jocko's, Trunks, a lot of stuff. Now he's attacking me to deal the crit damage, which I'm going to gracefully accept it. That sucked for me to lose a Sensu Bean. But ultimately, I want to get down to that 6 life or less margin so I can really elevate my gameplay. So I drop Mighty Mask as my energy, as my red energy, and I play a Mighty Mask. Because I already know the matchup I'm going against. At this point, I need to get my setup quickly. Get into my 10Ks. Get into resources that can stop them from aggro, which you're going to see the cards I select. I get my free 10k boost, which is a Trunks card, a Kid Trunks. And I'm going to search for the Goten. Now look at the Goten that I search for. He's very key. That Goten is amazing, guys, especially for the format with how Rush is relevant and just extremely strong. That card will allow me to pop any three or less during the combo step, my combo step specifically. So now it's Jonathan's turn. He's playing his second energy. And again, I hope you guys enjoy the My Hero Academia music. Now he plays a red energy. That's the turn 5 Gotenks, which he is extremely strong. And now he's deciding on his next move. He attacks me. Now this is great for me, guys. He's very he's being very aggro, which it's essentially what he wants to do, but he's... Oh, he hits another Sensu Bean. Ah, that's disgusting. But he's being very aggro, and that's going to help me in the long run, despite that it's in his favor, in a, in a sense. Now he plays another Jocko. Now you're looking at his hand. He has double Sensu Bean. He has Jocko. He, his hand was stacked defensively. Now it's my turn. I get to gracefully awaken at 6. So... This is in my favor. That's something that you guys need to keep note of. So now I place a green energy. So again, this is a tricolor android deck going against a dual color uh, Vegeta deck. Now I'm able to awaken and I have key energy on the board. This is what I like to see, which is why I run the Mighty Mask combo. Now this deck isn't your typical deck. This is an Android deck, and as you can see, it doesn't run a lot of the things that you saw in my previous deck profile. So now I'm awakened, I'm going after his Vegeta, I'm going to get my draw on, take full advantage of it. He's at currently 6 life. I'm at 6 life, I get my draw. 
he takes the damage into his hand. That's key for him since he just used Objection. He needs to refill that hand up as a aggro Vegeta player. Now I place Kaba. He's at 5 life. So I'm setting him up. I'm like, bring that ass here, boy. And he negates me. And I'm like, you know what? I'll still take a life. Because you can negate me, but you don't stop the auto. If I want to get a life to my hand, I can. Which is why Kaba is amazing when it comes to Awakening. Now it's his turn. I pass. I'm at 5 life. He's at 5 life. It's in his benefit. Now it's going to be his turn. He's going to be able to do some fun stuff. As in, you know, self-awaken and be able to try to crit me. But, oh, sorry guys. I, I, be I, I believe I end my turn. I apologize for that. But Android 17, I play Android 17 and then I end my turn. Because I didn't want him to have an attack target. Sometimes I usually like fan and I do like a little pass on move. But um, uh, that may have looked like I passed, but I didn't. Now, it is <coughs> it is my opponent's turn. Jonathan will be placing, apparently, a Gohan. It looks like that. Unless he's going to choose a Jiren. He's deciding between Gohan and Jiren. Oh, okay, he selects the, the Gohan. He's going to Awaken. So now, he's going to draw his two cards for Awakening. And he's in a good position. Remember, this position allows him to be very aggressive. And he will be able to deal crit on me. Now he plays Jiren. This hurts me, believe it or not. Now he's going to kill off my Android 17 for free. And still be able to put pressure on my leader. So, as you can see, he's already using Jiren as the attack. He's going to kill the Android 17. Bye bye Android 17. No need to block a 30k hitter. Now he's prepping up with Vegeta, deciphering his next move. He goes in, I believe he swings at my leader because he doesn't want to, you know, he wants to utilize that crit. Now he's using Trunks, he's a 20k. So, at this point I decide to take it, why not? I'd rather be exactly at 40, uh, at 4 life so that I can utilize my Android's ability, which, if you don't already know, my Android's ability is, if I have 4 or less life, all my Android 17 and 18 cards become 5k stronger, including my leader. So he attacks now with his Margin Boo. He already killed it. Now he's going in with Jiren, which was a decent play by him. Now he's making himself 25, which he's definitely hitting that magical number that I speak about in most of my videos. When you're 25k, if your leader's still at 15 without a Sensu Bean or something, it's a hard number to beat. You're guaranteed to have to lose two cards. Guaranteed. You're losing two cards for sure, potentially three if you only have 5k's in your hand or on the board. So now I'm deciphering what to give up. This is still the combo step. Now, like I said, you know, being at 4 life is where you want to be at when you're playing the Android deck. Especially, this is a different type of hybrid. This is not the Cell Chain hybrid. I have multiple lists that are extremely powerful for tournament play, and this is one of them. If you guys are interested, definitely leave, a com leave comments and let me know if you want the list or not. And definitely like the video and make sure you subscribe. What I will do is probably when I hit about a thousand views on this video, I'll release the list if requested. So I guard. I'm 30k to his 25. And now he is pretty much going to be done with his turn unless he plays like another Kaba. Oh, he's telling me to wait. I think he's deciphering if he wants to put more pressure like with Kaba, as I stated before. Jonathan is a very ag aggressive player. That's one thing I will tell you guys. He's quick to make super fast plays. Um, he's quick to put a lot of pressure on, on his opponent. So if you don't know how to deal with aggression, you're, you're going to be definitely in for something. So now he plays it. Now he's getting ready to attack. He uses the ability. He's really trying to be aggressive. Now... I don't know if he's going to combo at this point. And if he doesn't, it's a waste of the effect. That's one uh, minor play error on his part if he doesn't commit. Because if you're not committing, you essentially lost a life for nothing. And that's not good because life it matters in this game. The more life you have, the odds are the longer you're going to be able to stay in game. So 
So right now we're waiting. I believe he's thinking if he's gonna combo or I guess I was thinking. Alright, I comboed. Looks to be like a Jocko I comboed with. Now it's my turn. Now this game already elevated quickly. Look at the threats that he has on his board. Even though he's at one life less, so technically I'm winning in the life department. It's still a toughie. And right now I place another Sun Goten. Family of Justice, I believe. But it's uh you know, it's a very good card, but right now he doesn't have mini threats that are worth my time at this point. So now I'm swinging into his leader. Get my drawn. Family, there we go. I'm gonna kill his Kaba. Of course. Now I'm 20k at his lead, or 20k at his Jiren, I have to see. Okay, so 5k, I must have swung out at his Jiren. Yeah, I did swing out at his Jiren. Which, you guys have to remember that this deck, androids don't really have removal, which is one of the weaknesses that the design of the decks, most decks are designed that way. My deck actually has an adequate amount of removal, but... Even so, you know, it's not always guaranteed depending on the deck that you play against. Now, I swung out trying to get rid of a boo, being slick, and I got punished for that. He literally dropped a Gohan and was like, okay. So that hurt, guys. Even though I'm gaining a, I'm gaining some cards to hand, and apparently I miss and I only have a Trunks, that sucks. That means the other one must be in life, because I main boarded four in this deck. This deck is very, it's not your typical Android deck, it actually has a lot of removal. But, you know, providing that you actually catch your removal. So now, it's his turn. Guys, I have to deal with Jiren, Gohan. I didn't want to leave any threats, notice how I played Mighty Mask, because I knew I, if I couldn't get rid of the Jiren, which was the first goal I went for, if I can't get rid of that Jiren, I'm not going to play anything so that he could swing out with 30k. I'm not going to waste more resources, so instead I use Mighty Mask to gain more resor resources. Make sure that you kind of learn and see why I make moves like that. You know, I, I play, I like playing efficiently, so I can prepare myself for the worst. Now Jonathan is gauging whether or not he might be able to gain me, which I think he believes he can. So right now he takes a card into life, he only sees that I have one energy on tap. He has a strong board, so I can see why. He's seen multiple cards this turn, so he's right now in game mode, he's trying to scoop my shit up right now. And uh, my objective is to, to stay alive. So now he's, whoo, he has that crit with the Champa, hitting 25, hitting 30, renewed his energy like a pro. That's 30k, 30k looking at me in the face. 35, he puts the boo that he had on board on, on there, because he defended it with Gohan, so free. 35k, guys. I use uh, a 10k, so I'm 25. I use another 10k, and I have to tap out, guys. That ain't looking too hot for me. And I use the 5k, which the 5k is the kale that you see on the corner. It, the clip got a little, uh, it got clipped off because the camera was acting up. It died at one point. Uh, I, I think it died like at two points in this video, but for the most part, you're going to be able to see everything. Now he swings in with Jiren. Now mind you, I'm tapped out. He chooses not to combo, which I'm, I'm saved, but he still has a lot of energy left. So that was an easy combo for me. You know, even though I'm, I'm tapped out. You know, I do have resources, which is essentially how I design my decks. That's something that you always got to make sure you keep in mind when when thinking of cards and just kind of building, you know, certain styles of play that you uh, make sure your deck is well defended. So now... I believe I might be talking some trash, <laughs> which is why I, I decided to do a 
more in-depth version. I, I end up doing that. I do that often, guys. I mean, I do apologize if any of you get offended. But I'm one of those players that, you know, I gotta talk my shit. Anyways, so I have four cards in hand. I believe he asked me cards in hand at one point. And he's deciphering to see if, he has, if he's gonna be able to gain me. He has all his energy on tap. Five energy, guys. Three red, two blue. Not looking too hot for me, but again, may, being the better player and you know knowing when to how to guard and when to guard, that's how you're gonna pull wins. I have him thinking, despite me not being in the best predicament, and my card advantage is pretty low, but at least I have two additional life to work with, unlike he, unlike him. He lets me go. This is amazing. And keeps all his energy on top. So he's playing very defensive. I, I feel like he believes, hey, I already committed a lot. I got to be careful. I'm at two life. If I try to go in for game and it doesn't work out, I'm in trouble. Now I get my draw on. I already placed my green energy, so I'm working with five energy at this moment. Three green, one blue, one red, which is a good um, amount for this type of deck. You always want to have one red and one blue. That's all you need for the deck to function adequately. And then you focus on the green energy so that you can play bigger threats. Actually, in this deck, you could play multiple things that are cheap and they are big. So it's very nice. So now I guess this is a moment where I'm gauging on my next play. Some of these games get intense, so you have to decipher what's the best play. So you'll see some players, a lot of players, especially in tournaments, they'll take their time. And again, I advise you all, if you're going to any of these regionals coming up, uh, right now. Okay, I choose not to do anything, and I have a poof, tough games, man, tough games. He got another Gohan on the board. That's pretty scary. And he has a Sensu. So now my turn ends, and I got, I'm in trouble, guys. <laughs> this ain't looking too hot. I don't record. I don't recall this game fully, so. I am literally doing the commentary on the fly. I play a lot of matches with my teammates, and uh, I win majority, but I don't win all. I don't win them all. So we're about to find out. I vaguely recall this game. So he swings out at my leader. He went for the crit. He already took a damage. He he's going for game, guys. I'm if I don't survive, I'm gonna get my shit pushed in. So that's something that you need to know. Now I guard. He doesn't combo. Now he's attacking my leader. 20k double strike. I'm deciphering whether or not I'm going to take it. Oh, he attacks first my battle card, of course. 30k. Not going to guard. He's at one life, guys. I'm not, I'm not trying to push my shit. At this point, no need to save any battle cards. It is what it is. Right now, it's all about surviving and trying to stay in the game. We got a little sad, smooth music in the background. My Hero Academia is, uh, you know, it's very smooth. So sad. The music senses I'm going to get my shit pushed in. <laughs> Guys, send your prayers this way. So sad. Androids have, may have fallen in this match. Alright, so now Jonathan is making his move. Okay. Swinging in. Definitely trying to put pressure. I'm guarding adequately as best as I can. I guard a 5k. 
Uh, maybe with this music, I might have a, a second win. He still has Jiren's attack, and he still has all his energy left, so I gotta be careful with that. He plays a Sun Gohan. Now he has two potential double strikers, so I have to be careful. At this point, my best bet is to avoid any one of these major hits, depending on what he does. Because if he has additional Sensu Beams or additional Trunks to re restore energy, I have to be careful with that. He attacks. He's going for the draw, so he's going for a single strike. I am at one life, so I took the first one with the Gohan before, and now he's trying to deal damage, so he's going to 25k. So if I guard this, I'm kind of in the clear, because that Jiren is looking at me right now. I bounce the Gohan back to his hand, and I'm safe. 20 to his 15. A timely Jocko. Jocko's. Jocko just foiled his plan. This may be it, guys. I may have made my comeback after you can see I was getting my shit pushed in throughout the entire game. But all it takes are timely moves. Oh, sure enough, he conceded. This was a game where he ended up conceding. Um. His logic is he just didn't have no sense of being no negate attack. He only had another 10k in his hand and he wasn't going to swing in with Jiren. He only had one energy. He swings in with Jiren. He gives me cards. He does His hand is everything he has to pay for, so he will lose. Now, in this match, we were discussing if he played differently. He had a Gotenks, the red one in his hand. He was thinking of just tapping out and dropping it, which I think you can see right now in his hand. He's showing me it. He's like, what, what would have happened if I would have played that? And I told him I believe you would have won because I had enough, I had like three 5Ks in hand, but I couldn't have guarded all the Gohans, all the, you know, he had, you know, he had the Gohan on the board, he had his.